Clean Church. Are we tired? No, are you sure? Good, good, good. So we can carry on. Um, I'm here because um, I want to talk about prayer. You know, I was given you know, ten minutes to talk about prayer. So um, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna I'm gonna ask. I've got a few questions here, and we're just gonna answer it with with text from the Bible. So we're gonna start with um, is God approachable? Can we actually, as human beings, approach God? Is he somebody who is so holy and so righteous that us human beings can approach him? So um, I want us to turn to Psalm 65, verse 2. Psalms 65, verse 2. And... Um, Are you there? Yeah. Um, it reads, O thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. O thou that hearest prayer. This verse is telling us that God hears prayer. So God is actually approachable. And all men should go to God if they've got any need. The next question is going to be, how many times should we pray? Because if you look at um, Muslims, they pray three times a day. How many times should we pray as Christians? All right, you're a bit too fast there. I was going gonna, gonna to need test. So I'll move on to the next one. Um, how willing is God prepared to answer our prayers? How willing is God prepared to answer prayers? Does God actually answer our prayers? Yes. Okay, I'm going to pre- preview from, from the Bible, from Matthew 7, verse 11. Matthew 7, verse 11. Matthew 7, verse 11. If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? So this verse is telling us that God is willing to um, um, answer our prayers and to give us all the gifts that um, um, we, 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 we require. And this verse is that if us evil men can give Good gifts to our children, imagine what God can do. So um, this verse is, is a powerful verse, you know, and I think it's inspiring for us to know that God is willing to give us um, whatever we, um, we ask of him. The next one is, in whose name are we to pray to? This is like that like kindergarten question. <laughs> but you know, there are four questions. In whose name are we to pray? I'm, I'm not going to... Well, this too long because I'm sure that um, you know this already. And um, the last question is: Does the Bible give a model of prayer? Does the Bible give a model of prayer? Uh, if you look at Matthew six verse nine, Matthew six verse nine, and the Bible says, "After this manner, therefore, pray ye." Our Father, which art in heaven, can we say together? Our Lord be thy name, thy kingdom come, thou be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today your daily bread. Please forgive us for our sins, please forgive us sin against us. Please deliver us from evil and lead us temptation. For thou is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and forever. Amen. I just want to finish off by saying, prayer is next to the word, one of the biggest instruments that God gave us to keep a relationship with God. You know, if, you are, if you've got a, a wife or a girlfriend or, or a friend, you keep in touch with them, you talk a lot. It's the same thing that we wish, it's the same kind of thing that we share with, with God. We share that kind of relationship where we can talk to Him all the time. So that's my testimony. Amen.